Hi all, Joakim Kjæverestad, program chair of the NSA study program speaking. Uh, this is a short information movie about how the NSA lab works and it's meant for all of you students who are uh, on the NSA study program or for some of the reason taking any course in the NSA lab. Uh, what we're gonna go through is how to uh, redeem hard drive to tokens that you got by email, where to find installers and things like that and how to ask for help. So to start, uh, if you got an email such as this, that means that you are registered to a course where you're going to use the NSA lab. And uh, this email is what is sent out to you when we allocate a disk for you. Uh, in the disk there is a token such as the one marked right here and dialog.nsa.his.se is where you can go to redeem the token. So uh, first off, make sure that you're not logged on. Uh, when you go to dialog.nsa.his.se, you will get to this page. Uh, you can then press redeem token, input your token and click submit. And please note that you have to be on a computer that is within the NSA lab network to do this. When you submit your token, uh, you get an info screen showing um, that's showing you uh, the name of your hard drive, KRS followed by a number. You can find it on the shelf uh, in the corridor. You can also see uh, what size the disk is uh, and, and things like that. If you want to, you can at a later time go back to daloc.nsa.his.se and log on. First you have to log out, but when you hit log on you will get this screen, enter your uh, university account details and then you can hit my allocations and you will again see what disks that are allocated to you at the moment. Uh, in the recent field there is usually a course code, now it's just test because this is a test. Next thing, where can you find installers and such for different hard uh, operating systems and other programs that are used throughout the course? And you can find that by going to the URL files.nsa.his.se and then you will come to a display showing you operating system images or course related and uh, this is what you find when you go to course related then there is a bunch of different submenus for the different courses uh, if you browse through the folders that are for your course you can see a bunch of different uh, files if you go back to the start menu you can hit operating systems and under operating systems there are folders for windows linux and other flavors of operating systems go to the folder that suits your needs and find the ISO file for the operating system that you need. And finally, how do you ask for help? Uh, we have a system for you that is located on helplist.nsa.his.se and it looks like this. Just input the URL into a, any web browser, click I need help, enter the course code, your name, the room, room that you're in, and finally the computer group that you're using. Uh, there is a tag on your computer that says what computer group you're using. If you want to demonstrate you can hit to uh, hit I want to demonstrate my solution or if you just need help you click submit and then you're on the help list and this is the same uh, interface that the supervisors can see. If you no longer need help you can hit remove uh, you can also go into helpless.nsa.his.se to see how many people that need help before you. Uh, finally, uh, you should remember that you can just hit the power button on any computers in the NSA lab and then we have set up a live version of Ubuntu for you so that if you just hit the power button, button on any machine a Ubuntu live version will load for you. You can use this to do whatever you want, but remember that what you're doing in this live environment is lost when you power off the machine. Also, uh, this is where you need to be if, to redeem disks, but because disk tokens that we sent out by email can only be redeemed from within the NSA lab network. Um, above that, you're allowed to do pretty much everything with these machines as long as you do not do anything illegal. But remember that everything you do here is lost. Uh, another thing that you should always remember is that uh, 
In pretty much all courses, there are supervisors and they are there for your assistance. So never hesitate to ask your supervisors whenever you're in need. And we do encourage you to use the help list system. But if you see the supervisors just being lazy and hanging around, you should just go grab them by the elbow and make them help you. That's what they're paid for. Okay, with that said, see you in the lab. And uh, before this video ends, I'm going to take just a few seconds to show you how the NSA Live Boot system and the NSA Boot menu that's available on the computers work. Uh, because not only can you go to the NSA Boot menu to load a live version of the Ubuntu operating system, you can also uh, install a lot of operating systems directly from within there. So when you boot up a computer, this is what you get. First off, you have the NSA Net Boot, uh, some fun things from VirtualBox. Uh, you have boot from hard drive, of course, and that's what you're going to hit if you have a hard drive inserted with an operating system on. Uh, then you have the NSA Net Boot, which is the Ubuntu environment, and it's an Ubuntu where we installed uh, some stuff that you might want to have. You also have live operating systems, installers, and utilities. If you go to live operating systems, there is an, the current netboot, an old netboot, a version of Kali Linux, which is uh, sort of a Debian Linux with hacking tools on them. Remember that the password for this is Tor, T-O-O-R. There is also a game collection if you have time for that. So one step back, we can go into installers. And here you see that we have course related images, Linux, Windows, um, just some uh, different operating systems where, that we have pre-configured to suit your needs in different courses. So if you hit live boot, you will get into the Ubuntu version. And with that said, see you in the lab.